Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, please do consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much again for being here and supporting my channel and sticking with me even though I've got ads now. It really all will go back to supporting the channel and continuing to bring subscription boxes to you. That said, let's get into the box for today, which is Wander Karma. It is a travel themed subscription box where she takes you to a different destination every month. Now I have been on the hunt for the perfect travel subscription box since I started the channel because it would combine my two loves of subscription boxes, which is kind of a newfound love, and my long held love of travel, which of course has been on hiatus for the last few months. Um, but so far I haven't found quite the right box for me where I feel like the value and the curation are both there. So so I wanted to give Wander Karma a try and they did a sale a couple of months ago where you could get your first box for half off and then I did a three month subscription to bring the price down a little bit more. I will say that she has acknowledged that it's been tricky to source products to put in the boxes because her own travel has kind of been put on pause as well of course. Wander Karma is $45 per month plus $8 and shipping here in the US so obviously that brings it to a total of $53 which is well outside of my budget where I do try to keep subscriptions uh, to $30 to $40 per month, whether or not it's bi-monthly or monthly or seasonal. Um, so it is a little bit pricey and the last couple of boxes that I've gotten I didn't feel like they were necessarily giving me above that value of $45 plus the shipping So I'm hoping that third time is the charm and this is a really good one If you guys ever want to check out the different travel subscription boxes that I have opened Definitely check out the playlist that I have. I do also know about the Wanderlust subscription from bikini.com I'm just waiting until they switch over from their last Phuket Thailand box so that I can get something fresh and new to bring with you to bring to you. So the Wander Karma box always just comes in a super plain box. She does kind of put some like travel related stickers on top. Um, this time the shipping label was like barely taped on there. I'm not even I'm sure how it actually made it to my door because it was almost like hanging off. But that means that it was really easy for me to pull off so that I could show you the box. I do really like this little sticker here that's got like a VW bus and it just talks about dreams. What does it say? I will have my home hundred, I will leave my home hundred miles away so that's like one of my husband's dreams is to have a camper van and eventually get to do some like long surfing and road trips so inside she always just has this nice full-size sheet so let's see where we're going we are going to San Francisco so that makes sense that again because it has been a little bit difficult to get items for the box she's keeping it domestic um, so it does tell us about the artists and I will read a little bit more to you about that um, so it gives us seeker stones uh, often wander and also AB draws the line. So that's interesting. I think that I have actually seen uh, the shop Often Wander on a friend's Instagram because she is an artist that works with Often Wander. So that's kind of cool. Uh, San Francisco from the gold rush days to now, people have flocked to San Francisco for opportunity. The city's architecture with the Victorians to the mid-century modern 50s brings you back and it moves forward with new tech skyscrapers. The city generated the revolution of the 1960s and 1970s with Hate ashbury and the music from Janis Joplin to the great Grateful Dead. San Francisco's San Franciscans are activists where Harvey Milk fought for LGBTQ rights, which of course this is Pride Month, uh, to today the technology and startup culture is creating the future. So we've got like the sisters, you know, the full house houses right there. And then on the back it's just telling us a little bit about Hate ashbury which is great area to visit in San Francisco. Um, it also tells us a little bit about the last black man in San Francisco. And then it also has like a little list of our favorite hippie hangouts. So that's kind of cool. So she does like a little travel guide and I think sometimes it comes in digital form and it's a little bit more in depth, but this is our little like single sheet travel guide for San Francisco. But I'm interested about this. So it does say what our nation is going through is devastating but necessary. Our black community has been oppressed for too long. 
Due to my white privilege, I will never understand as I will never experience the racism that people of color experience every day. We stand up against racism and stand with our black community. So I do appreciate that she is giving this very timely response in the box. A lot of boxes I know want to support Black Lives Matter, but just because of how they curate their boxes, like that turnaround is a little bit difficult to achieve. So kudos to any box who is addressing that in the moment as part of the movement. Um, going on, she says, I always thought San Francisco Cisco celebrating diversity, but there are systems at play that have made it not diverse as the black community has been pushed out of San Francisco. Um, basically, all, all people in different socioeconomic statuses besides the tech sector have kind of been pushed out of San Francisco. Uh, I always, uh, the 2019 movie, The Last Black Man in San Francisco, shows you how black people have had their wealth and ownership taken away from them from our gentrification and wealth divide. Based on a true story, Jimmy Fails, below in the picture, tries to reclaim the Victorian his grandfather built in the historic Fillmore district. This movie will help you understand the unjust systems that continue. Another book to learn from is The New Jim Crow, Mass Incarceration in the Age of Colorblindness by Michelle Alexander. This month, we will be donating 10% to Black Lives Matter, an organization started in the East Bay in 2013 in response to the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's murderer. Black Lives Matter Foundation, incorporated as a global organization in the US, UK, and Canada, whose mission is to eradicate white supremacy and build local power to intervene in violence inflicted on black communities by the state and vigilantes. By combating and countering acts of violence, creating space for black imagination and innovation, and centering black joy, we are winning immediate improvements in our lives. So here is the picture of um, Jimmy Fails that's in that movie that she talked about. I recently just watched um, a movie that was uh, Just Mercy that was actually directed by a childhood friend, directed by a Maui boy, and that was an awesome movie. If you guys haven't seen that, it's based on a true story. Um, so if you are in part of your education during these times is to read about these true stories and the things that are going on and have been going on for so long in our black communities, definitely check that out. But again, kudos to Wander Karma. I haven't even seen the contents of the box, but I do appreciate being so um, current and, and proactive in this effort. So let's get into the box though. So here it is, feels pretty light. Things are kind of rattling around. I'm a little concerned. Um, so they generally have like three items. According to like the profile that I saw on Crate Joy, there's usually just three items. Um, but so far, like the box that got me into Wander Karma, their Japan box actually had several items. The Greek box that I got had several products, mostly um, foodstuffs. And even the last box that I got, the Paris box, uh, while I didn't feel like the value was there, I think there were more than three items in there. So um, it looks like this time we just have the three different uh, products that are featured here on the other side. So. I'm not expecting more than three items, but just, again, this is $45, so each of these items, like, on average, should be like $15 worth. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, so the first thing I am seeing looks like an art piece. It's actually just a um, postcard, but they did put it in this nice, like, plastic sleeve so that it's pretty protected. I'm trying to see if I can actually get into it and I'm guessing that this is by AB Draws the Line. So I like this sleeve. This is something that would be great to travel with just to protect your postcards. Um, this is our California wall behind us and so you can always see that that print of the bridge but it's all art and different things uh, about California. We live in California but it kind of represents all over California. So this might be a great item to add to it. This is just of course the painted ladies. Uh, I'm sorry I called them the sisters earlier but the painted ladies so a cute little drawing on a postcard it's kind of got like rough edges but that would definitely look nice um, with like maybe a colorful mat and then framed and it might get added to our wall back here so I'm happy with that it does have the retail values here which is actually nice and I haven't seen that before so it does say that the retail value of this from AB Draws the Line is two bucks, which seems about right for a postcard. Um, and it is a nice quality. And again, I do really appreciate that they had that nice plastic sleeve so that it didn't get bent up or anything. The next thing is, this is probably the item from Often Wander. 
So this is interesting to me because it also says that the retail value, I think this might be like typos because you can see over here, this one says $36 and then this one says 0.2 and then this one also says 0.2 and I can't imagine that this candle is $2. It's definitely gotta be more than that. Um, and it is from Often Wander and it's cute. It just says, I rainbow San Francisco. After wandering the world, Sarah came back to California ready to create. She creates the scents that bring wanderlust and hand pours the candles in her mission shop in Valencia. So I don't think that's the retail value, like I said, but her website is oftenwander.com. And this is, wow, what is that scent? It smells like incense, like when you walk into, a, into an import store. I'm trying to see, it doesn't actually say what scent it is. Let's see. It honestly does not say anywhere on the label, but it smells like maybe like amber. Um, let's see. It says that you shouldn't burn it for more than four hours at a time, but honestly, maybe she just got like a, a bunch of different scents, so she didn't tell us which one. But I'm guessing that this is, you know, small shop in San Francisco, hand poured. It's probably like a $10 candle, if not more. So we're looking at $12 value, even though here on the sheet it says, uh, too. So if I was just going by the retail values here on the sheet, this total retail value of these three items in the box would be $40, which I'm hoping that again, that's a typo and they're not trying to give us a retail value of $40 on a $45 box. So the next item is probably the most expensive comes in this little box and it's got some cute like cactus washi tape on it. And this is by Seeker Stones. Patricia Ramos brings the unique elements of California nature from her Seeker Stones found on Ocean Beach to her pottery. We hope you enjoy these natural beauties of the Seeker Stone earrings and they retail at $36. So it comes in this little um, pouch. So let's see what these look like. So this would be tricky. Like if this was your subscription that you got and you didn't have pierced ears, um, this is like a hard item to have be the main item. But these I do like a lot. These are totally like my style so I'll just show you maybe I'll show you both of them so here they are it's just it's a very like yellow gold chain it's just got that hoop to put through your ear and then at the bottom are I guess probably stones although they might be like shells um, she says that I guess she does pottery work but she puts stones in them so it says seeker stones found on Ocean Beach so I can't tell honestly if these are stones or shells I think they're actually shells um, that are just uh, she did a really good job of matching them up they're very cream colored um, they are a little bit different obviously which I appreciate almost like a little like rosiness to the edges but these are really cool I like these a lot so this is probably my favorite item from Wander Karma that I've received the whole time but I could see how it'd be hit or miss if you weren't an earring person or if you weren't a gold person or if you don't like dangly earrings because they are kind of long but they're definitely my style so I'm very happy with them. Do I think that this box was worth $45? I think it was probably worth just exactly $45. I don't think that I got my extra $8 in shipping which is okay. I know shipping is expensive these days. Um, I would like to see a little bit more value in terms of the box for sure. Maybe like two more items that came out of San Francisco would be really great and compel me to continue subscribing. Um, let me know what you guys think about Wander Karma. I love the purpose of it. I love that they're supporting small businesses, local artists. I love that she's giving 10% to Black Lives Matter. I like all of the items this time. There's not like a miss here. Like in my Paris box, there was a couple items that I didn't think I would necessarily use, but I'm always gonna use a candle. Even though this is like a pretty strong, pretty strong scent, um, which might not be good. It's more of a fall scent in all honesty, if I can describe it that way. It's kind of spicy, uh, definitely more of a fall scent than a spring or summer one. Um, but I do like the postcard. Like I said, I just wish there was a little bit more value in this box or that it was just a little bit cheaper. Um, but let me know you guys what you think and hopefully you all have a fantastic day. If you did like this unboxing, not necessarily if you like the box, but if you did like this unboxing, please do give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should keep getting Wander Camera for a little bit longer and see how it is as we emerge from COVID and she is able to get more products from different destinations. And other than that, I will see you very, very soon in my next unboxing.